Welcome, and thank you for joining me for this great fucking random gaming news, where today we just got a couple of quick mentions that we're going to go over, plus we're going to be talking about that Sega announcement that's supposed to be coming out next week, but before we do all that, go ahead and check out those links in the description for all that social media stuff, hit the like button if you do enjoy today's video, share this video to help out the channel, hit the subscribe button, and turn on that bell icon for more content like this, and let's go ahead and start the show. First up here for the quick mentions, we have Destroy All Humans, and that's because they have a new demo out over on GOG. It's something that you guys can go pick up if you are a PC player, so if that's something that you're interested in, you can go get Destroy All Humans over on GOG here. Uh, and it's 8 gigs of data that you have to you know, make room for on your hard drive there, and it's only going to give you about 20 to 30 minutes of actual gameplay. Um, but if you are interested in the whole game over on Xbox, they are actually giving that away for... You know the June games for Xbox so you can just wait just a couple more days and actually get it over on there I think June yeah that's Monday um, and then you guys can pick that up on the Xbox uh, you know games for gold and next up here for the quick mentions or you know lastly here for the quick mentions we actually have uh, Parks and Rec and Animal Crossing in the news because it would seem that somebody actually took it upon themselves to recreate the scene where Ron Swanson actually pulls his own tooth out during a meeting and everything here. Now he didn't really you know pull his tooth out his uh, dentist did it a couple days uh, prior but they he has a pretty funny statement that it's always nice to show your uh, other co-workers how much pain you can actually take so if if you guys are interested in seeing that there is actually a link to that down in the description along with all the social media links I'd love to hear what you guys thought about any of this are you interested in destroy all humans do you like parks and rec or Animal Crossing because honestly I liked all of it and I did really find the parks and rec Animal Crossing crossover <laughs> actually really funny lastly let's go ahead and talk about uh, Sega and Famitsu because apparently there's a huge announcement coming from Famitsu um, this journalist here on the screen actually apparently got a huge scoop from from the uh, from some of the technology and executive staffs over at Sega and apparently it's a scoop um, and this is his quotes uh, it's a scoop from a game company that everybody loves an insane scoop last year wired got that exclusive story on the ps5 uh, right other media didn't this is that level of a scoop I interviewed a certain company's executive and technology staff it's really revolutionary Really, it's a revolution. So apparently, you know, they're doing something in, along the lines of, you know, maybe making a new console. But I really don't think that Sega is making a new console. There doesn't seem to be a lot of hiring for that kind of stuff happening over at Sega. But I, you know, I definitely eat my words. Apparently, you know, especially if, you know, June 4th comes around and they say that they are making a new console that's coming out next year or something I would love to see you know that happen I, I, I like to see the smaller things or like indie things like that happen where you know it kind of shakes up some of the bigger stuff because right now we only have three main consoles we have the Microsoft you know Xbox we have Sony's PlayStation and then we have Nintendo switch right now we don't and we and we have PC gaming and you can do a whole lot with that and build you know your different you know, specs and all that kind of stuff stuff but as far as consoles go for the general population there's not really a whole lot Atari is trying to make a new console and like to see what actually happens with that I don't think that they're actually gonna be able to come out with one apparently you know they have been pushing it back and back but you know so Sega if they were to come out with another console I hope it'd be something along the lines of like a Sega you know gear or a Sega uh, game gear because those were really nice like I actually had a Sega game gear that I played Mortal Kombat on a lot and played Sega on a lot so it'd be nice to see them come out with something along those lines maybe a Sega game gear mini um, like they did with their uh, Sega you know Genesis console there last year so you know I'd like to hear from you guys down in the comments below what you think you know Sega is actually gonna be coming out with because I think it's either going to be some bundles or like maybe another you know remake of an old console like the you know Sega and Nintendo has been doing um, but I'd like to see a new console but I don't really think that you know Microsoft or Sony has bought Sega I think maybe some exclusives might happen but other than that 
I don't really think a whole lot, uh, you know, would happen there with that. Let me know what you guys think about that down in the comments below. And that's really it for the video for today. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Hit the like button if you did. Make sure that you are checking out the social media links down in the description. I am trying to make some new logos and stuff for the channel. I'm just not very good at that side. So I'm seeing about getting some people hired for it. So I'll let you know about that down in those social media links. So go ahead and check those out and follow me over there. Uh, also, make sure that you guys are sharing this video to help out the channel the most. Hit the subscribe button with that bell icon turned on. So that way you can get more uh, you know, video content like this. As always, I have been Tasty. This has been Random Gaming News. And have a wonderful fucking gaming night.